Hey guys, it's Jet Records. There are some of you guys are having trouble to devour a boss fight. So I'm going to show you guys an easy way to shred this guy in under 30 seconds. So the key for this boss fight is doing the most DPS as possible. Take note of that purple meter below his health bar. That means he's going to regenerate once he reaches full. Then you have to start all over again. So basically you want to hit his weak points and take him out as quick as possible. We're getting a lot of friend requests for people to help them get them through this boss fight. But instead of doing it for you, I'm going to teach you guys how to fish. So let me show you my loadout. We're running basically eternal willpower. On this one, you want something for electric attack damage as well as something to up your firearm attack. Now the best weapon is eternal willpower for your primary. On this one, I'm running basically rifle and reinforcement as well as electric priority. That's going to help you a lot. And then for my second, I'm going to run the tamer. On this one, you want also rifle reinforcement to up your attack damage. Uh, something with weak point detection and as well as electric priority on this one as well. You just basically want to do as much damage as quickly as possible. And then for my third, I'm running the Vestigal Oregon. On that one, I also have rifle reinforcement that has explosive damage and attack power up. And then I'm running Adventurer, expanding the weapon charge to increase my magazine. Also running a couple of other mods just to help my uh, critical hit. So basically just screenshot everything that I got here. And then basically this is what you want to run for your third weapon. Now my mods for my Descendant. It's mostly a build to kind of help with the toxic resistance. Basically, I upped my health. I upped my defense. I also added a little bit of electric damage with the focus on electric. And then I kind of, I didn't max out my attack, which is a shock punch. But you can do that. It'll help you get more module capacity. But basically, on my reactor, I just kept the basic one. I didn't get anything special on it, but it helps with for assault rifle. For my internal and components, nothing really special. I'm basically running defense as well as something for my shields. I'm running shields on three of the four external components, basically just to help with my defense. But basically for this build, all you really want is something for toxic resistance for your defense. Um, for your weapons, you basically just want something that has electric damage, something that helps your crit, something that identifies weak point, and basically that's all you need for this boss fight. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe for more.